Generic greetings and welcome to Abandoned Ship, today's beverages. <sighs> Cloudy lemonade, which is actually a lot bitter than I would have expected, but um, I do still quite enjoy it. Very nice indeed. Anyway, Abandoned Ship is a game I have featured on the channel in a previous video quite a while ago now, when it was in early access, and you are on a ship, you have a crew, you sail around and run away from cultists. It's now classed as finished, so I thought I would check it out. I don't think it's unreasonable to call it uh, an ftl like You still fight and uh, can board and do all of that sort of thing, but it's just just on the high seas. I'm just going to visit this lighthouse here, which gives us the ability to see everywhere around here. And ah, we have a dead man's spire over there. Lots of fishing points. And also, where is our main objective? Our main objective at the moment is to go to the uh, the Landfall Greed Library. The whole uh, thing with the game is basically there's some cult stuff going on. You were one of those, and you escape on this ship, and you are being chased by uh, the cultists. This meter at the bottom will go up as you progress on. And um, basically you want to do as many missions as you can in each of the areas to then unlock the gates to go to another area. So let's have a quick look in here. We can see we've got rats more and more. You dwell on them, no doubt screwing around, sniffing after your food stars, and you stand for it no longer. So we can either, um, after a search, your crew return with a sack full of wriggling forms. We can either say, the meat is poor but edible, prepare them for cooking. So we can eat the rats for 16 food, or we can toss them over the side and let the little buggers drown. Um, I think we'll do that because we need to increase our happiness. So this is some of the events that you will get in the game, but also you will generally do a, a lot of fighting as well. We've gained a trait for ourselves, which is Spider Slayer. 25% increased uh, melee damage against spiders. Not something I ha have experienced in the game, but we'll see. Uh, this is an event for Dead Man's Spire. It's covered in uh, gibbets, uh, swaying slightly in the coastal breeze. Most contain skeletons covered in rags, the flesh long picked clean by carrying birds. However, some occupants are still alive. So we can open the cages and get a crew member that's obviously a criminal. I will leave that, and that's something I really do not want on my ship. You can see on the left-hand side, we've got like the crew here with different skills, the overall health of our ship. And there's an event. As you enter into new seas, you notice the ship launch a volley at a much smaller vessel. You have been noticed too, and the larger immediately turns head uh, fast towards you. Obviously, more pressing threat. So this is where we're going to the combat side of the game. And let's just see how well or not so well we fare. So you can uh, pause it. So I will do that. So this is all. Of, these are all of our stations. So we've got one person on the helm. We've got one person on a grape shot, uh, sorry, that's a chain shot that takes out the sails in the rigging. We've got two standard cannons there, as well as a grape shot there as well. Oh, we've also got a mortar, which apparently the doctor is um, manning for some reason. You've got different ranges towards your ship, uh, towards the enemy, so you can say get closer, which is probably what I want to do. This is the enemy up there, so we can see with around with, it looks like to be uh, mortars on either side, and that's actually it, so it's quite a small vessel. This is... Our statistics, uh, these will take damage, as can the crew and that sort of thing. So we'll unpause it and we'll crack on. We've also got a um, lightning briefly illuminate the sky in jagged fog. If lightning strikes the ship, a fire will break out. Fair enough. So the... Uh the overall rating for the uh, load status is on these here, and once it goes to blue, we can fire, so we will fire against that, and you can see we have caused some damage there, which allows us to then get closer. This I will target there and start firing, and it looks like we were hit by some lightning there, I think, and you can see the damage is uh, going up there. Let's just see if I can fire this one right on top of those two. Looks like one's ran away, so we won't be able to do that, and uh, mortar's dropping down now, and there's some acid, so I'm going to get out of the way. When you move like that um, off the off the helm there the meter doesn't go up so you've got options for like uh, crashing into the side of the boat for uh, running away and uh, spinning the ship around in case like, you lose some of this. But I'm just uh, telling these to fire, and there we go. This is actually a, a previous save. What the game does, quite cleverly, is give you captain's log. So the game is persistent, and it's it's not permadeath, but basically you get to a certain point where uh, if you, your ship uh, explodes or all your crew die, then that's it. You, you don't have to necessarily start again. You can go to a previous captain's log, which is like a, a perma-save, for lack of a better term. Um, their ship is very low on health and I don't know whether or not I want to keep on uh, shooting at it or just ram it and mm, the fact that it is exploding means I should probably not go and ram it although going on board and uh 
taking uh, taking it over, it would probably work out as well. So there goes that ship that is sinking. I don't know why it was firing at us, it's just the event and such. Uh, so you give the odds to move towards a remaining ship to see if you can provide any further assistance. The crew are able to salvage some suitable materials along the way. 21, uh, is that gold? Uh, yes, currently a gold. So we'll leave combat and what we're going to do now, uh, so the event says, you, uh, we know you, hang on, start again. Uh, let's do some English. We know we owe you our lives, but I must confess we can offer little besides our thanks. We owe you. Uh, so we've got some uh, hull repair and wanted level decreased. You can, if you want, go for like the pirate route. So y these trade lines here, you can go on and actually start some piracy over on the right there. But um, I'm going down a more friendly route. I'm going to go here, visit the docks, and we're going to repair the boat because it is very, very damaged. And we can also give it some different things. So you've got chain shots, uh, the ship smasher, and all of that sort of thing. I'm going to increase the amount of cannons on this thing here. So we've got three cannons with fax modem on that area. We are going to get rid of the mortar and actually going to sell it and then I'm going to buy the ship smasher which is a much much bigger mortar we also can get things like a diving bell and things like that which I probably should have bought before that you got ramming spikes winches that sort of thing you can increase like the performance and resistance of all of your um, modules on the ship you've got ship rights in general so you can get like bigger ships and you can find different ones as you progress throughout the game uh, we don't need to alter that we'll go to the uh, tavern quarter so we do have different people that we can recruit you can also go to the magistrate pay off any bounty uh, the explorers guild I will collect my money because essentially as you explore and open the fog of war uh, you gain like uh, charts and then you sell the charts like we've just done there which is good captain's log as I use your captain's log to create a captain's log save if you die you can resume playing from your last captain's log save so the finite resource use them sparingly uh, we're going to go over to the prison and <laughs> yeah you can actually um go to prison and hire people from here but the problem with that is that all all of them uh, have a stubborn convict as a mental trait which means they don't gain experience you can see we've got like different ratings for uh, these here so for, uh, we're the uh, severed ones we've got rating two on all of this so fighting repair um bit navigation that sort of thing whereas shorty is pretty good at navigation and evasive maneuvers but not very good at anything else as you might expect being the navigator these also have some traits which we can go at the apothecary and pay money to remove that. That's Fields of the Cold. 20% reduction, navigation, reloading, repairing, and melee combat in Arctic biome. Well, we're not in there. We'll go over to the tavern. We could hire some more people, but quite frankly, go back to port, visit the docks once more, and I think it would probably be best if I got myself a diving bell because um, uh, special sunken shipwreck events can be found by access for the diving bell critical collecting for collecting captain's logs so that's fine we don't need to get any more food I think that is about us we'll keep the remaining gold there so we'll return the port and sail back to sea and oh look a diving bell symbol here which is why I picked that up so we'll go there and we it says uh, hints of a sh uh, wrecked ship can be seen through the water this is sort of the task a diving bell made for so we'll prepare the diving bell which requires that and well we retrieve 21 gold so not great but um not terrible either so we have this going up to the top when that gets to the uh, center there because it's on three rating now uh, we will be chased i'm looking around for one more event because uh, these areas open up as you do the different uh, events i'm going to go here and just do some fishing and there we go and then there's one more event over on the right hand side which will then open unlock that place and that place the main map we can see in here we are currently trying to get to that location there. You've got all of these different areas, which I've not been to. As I said, it was um, in early access when I played, and I don't even think uh, those were in the game when I uh, last played it, but I could be wrong about that. So, here we go. A ship uh, juts up at m uh, an unnatural angle, having run aground on a large rock. It looks abandoned. So, there's going to be some salvage. Be wary. So, we'll do that. And, ah, we've got 21 gold, 16 food. However... Um, we fell some, through some rotten planks and Tussosk uh, has been injured. So basically until we go to an apothecary, they cannot be uh, used. So we'll go over here and exit to the next area. So we'll go there and see what we can find here. Hopefully we'll be able to find an apothecary and get that person repaired. So, slightly different biome, you see it's a bit more stormy and grey, and ah, now this is a, a faction, like an enemy faction, essentially you've got like three enemies in a fort, once you defeat them all you then 
beat the uh, the main area. Looking over here, we can see that yes, up the top we do have a lighthouse, so we will head towards that. That will uh, give us the option to uh, repair. I'm going to skate around that guy because I really, really do not want to uh, engage them. And sadly, we are going to have to engage one here to get around. I may be able to have gone around, but we should be all right. Um, so who was injured? The person that was injured was on the cannons there. So that's a bit of a shame. We are going to... They are trying to actually get closer to us. They've got four people on their boat. I can pause it and see that they've got... Um, is that just a... What's that one? That's the helmsman. That is like a cannoneer, I think. Um, or just might be a crewman. That's your that's your captain. And that's like a, a melee person. So we'll unpause it. Uh, we've got this big ship smasher. So moderate hull damage uh, and crew damage as well. So that's all right. Um, on a previous save... Oh, they're firing away. So I'm going to fire back at the uh, cannon section there. Grape shot cannon will fire against the sails. There we go. Shots out. And not too bad. Bit of damage. And this thing we will fire into the front there. Now, I had a previous... Uh, before I died and uh, load the captain's log, Whoa, we see that blows up and uh, does a lot of damage and flooding. I don't know if you can see that, but there is uh, like a hole in there. This also says that it is you cannot acquire this vessel blueprint as it is a higher class than your current vessel. Fair enough. Um, yes, uh, what I was saying, yes, a previous save that I had, I actually replaced the grape shot cannon, which I'm actually going to get closer to use. But the grape shot cannon, I replaced it with like a sniper rifle type thing, and it was very, very powerful indeed, because you'd be able to uh, hit individual crew members, and it would do a fairly decent amount of damage. That's actually caused someone to go overboard by the look of it. Yes, they are on the back there, so they have to be rescued. Uh, brace, brace, brace. So this is where we've got a wave. You need to activate brace, otherwise you can get swept over. We did manage to do that in time. It does stop all of the reload and stuff, but we uh, brace there, which is fine. I could go for a ram, but I don't think it would be the best uh, option, really. I'm going to keep firing against that uh, back there. It looks like the person is drowned. They have actually drowned on the back, which is bad for them. I'm going to keep firing at the captain there. It looks like they've lost their sails, so manoeuvres are not great. And boom! That blows up, and we can see the helmsman has now come off. And you know what? I think we are going to brace for impact, and... Oh! I should have done it because I've got loads of spikes on it, and... Oh! That's a bit of damage that I've taken there. And there we are, and we'll now uh, come back. Definitely shouldn't have done that massive misplay there. I, for some reason, didn't see the huge spikes on the side of the boat, which has caused considerable damage to myself. But when you're ramming like that, you can um, you can cause a fair bit of damage, which we did, and also you can uh, have people knocked off. Uh, looks like the captain wasn't knocked off there, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know whether we want to go on the grape shot cannon. Um, looking at the hull integrity, no, we don't, because basically the next cannon shot potentially will destroy the boat anyway. And there's the shot out. It's not going to destroy the boat, but uh, this... Well, this ship smasher certainly will. We're going to brace just so we can not get swept over. And there we go. Fairly big wave. It covers that uh, considerably. And looks like they didn't brace. And as you can see, they've got, now got one person um, on the back there. And they've, they've fallen off. And oh, yeah, the health's going down. You have to have a winch on the back. And then you can get your uh, crewman back. And there we go. So not too bad. We did take more damage than would have liked, and that is basically due to my incompetence as a captain, which is not surprising in the slightest. Uh, but we did manage to uh, get some gold off that one. So over to here. You can see one of these has now been completed. It's marked as um, sorted. We can now check out the main map, and there is a dock over there. So what we'll do is we'll head down that way, because I do want to repair the ship, although there is some... There is something over here. Let's have a quick look. Uh, we can see that it's got some smoke coming off it. You encounter a ship uh, listing one side, plumes of water erupting from the deck. Without rapid invention, it will soon sink beneath the waves. We'll intervene and help them. And uh, yes, despite your crew's best efforts, they were unable to help save the vessel. It begins to disintegrate, and one of your crew plummets down out of sight. A violent rescue attempt saves him, though he's badly hurt. So it wanted level decreased. We've got some gold there, but Beckett is now injured. So we've now got two crew that are injured. So that's really. Uh, yeah, that's really sort of forced my hand. There's no way I can keep fighting with that. So that's actually a way to repair there. But I'm actually going to go into this port here. Um, and five isles situated around a lagoon of rich uh, rich with fish. Enough to stay in a port 
on each of the surrounding islands, locals become wealthy from the natural bounty of the doorstep. Continue. Visit the docks. We'll repair all of the boat. Go to the apothecary. And we want to uh, repair... Well, repair? Heal, rather, uh, them here. And actually, that's... Uh, sorry, that's revive, not... Uh, the right one there. I revived him, but I've also removed one of the negative traits instead. Uh, that's okay, though. We can't do that. Can't do that. So we've still got one person, sadly, uh, not able to be revived. There's the Marine. So he's only the person to... Uh, all they do, really, is... Uh, I'm just skipping all of this. Uh, we can defend the port. Let's defend the port. Um... There's loads of story that goes with it. I'm going to try and not spoil the main one because a lot of this is procedurally generated and random and such, but uh, there is a story that goes along with it, and I obviously try to avoid that as much as possible. So basically, we have to defend this part against these, so that is fine. That's what we're going to do here. Um, it's only really the border that's um, injured, so it's not terribly important, but to be fair, if we had them, we would, be, we would have another set of cannons on the go. So it would have been nice. But anyway, we should be able to fight them off here. Let's see what we can do. Um, after this we will may be able to visit the apothecary, but it also might be uh, the last thing we can uh, do here. That's another explosion, that's good on them, that's fine. Still taking out the sails with the chain shot, and you can see that this person uh, is being injured. Uh, we can go and, oh, we'll have to tell them to start clearing that. You can see there's a hole in the ship, so I'm going to tell them to uh, get that sorted. And once that is, I will then go over there and uh, heal up, because they are taking considerable damage and let's, let's just get that fired there should be good damage back over to the cannon don't need them to be fully healed but we do need to uh, make sure that we are fighting there you can see shots uh, hitting us we've got a little bit of uh, water there you can use the uh, water pumps at the back to to get rid of that but we really don't need to do that at this stage you can see they're trying to repair looks like the cannons and the masts there and that's fine with me because the more they're doing that the less the shots are coming towards us and let's brace 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 and there we go. Doesn't look like they braced. Oh no, they might have braced just in time there. I think they braced just in time. Um, which is why none of them went over the edge there. There's another hole in the deck. I'm going to get the dock this time to repair that. Also, because the doctor is right near this person, as soon as that's repaired, they're going to go over there and start to heal them. I don't think... It, it might not be as quick as the, uh, the bench at the front. Although it might be. I'm not too sure. I haven't really taken much notice. But we'll repair that up. Heal them, that's fine. Nobody else really needs uh, repairing. Let's go and uh, go on that one. And there's the chain shot out again. You can see we're just constantly crippling their uh, their sails there, which is why we're doing all right on that, front, on that regard. Uh, so we can basically maneuver where we need to. I don't know if we want to uh, go further afield or whether we want to put some distance between us. It is a possibility. In fact, we've taken some damage to our sails as well. You can see that's on about half health there, so I'm going to uh, start getting that healed up because it's always useful to have. Uh, there's a level up there. Uh, I don't know why that person is not actually on the cannon, but there you are. And brace, brace, brace. We've got the waves. I do like the uh, different, like, weathers and stuff and things you experience. You get all manner of um, things, which makes it quite interesting. Anyway, over to there, and this should be the last cannon shot, really. Yeah, that's fired out. Um, I think we'll actually put the commander on on the cannons this time. We don't really need to keep taking up their sails. And, ooh, that looks like we've got some flooding. You don't need to stop the flooding um, all the time because, quite frankly, once the fight is over like that, all the crew heal up to full health if they've not been uh, taken out like this person. Um, and any any holes in the ship or any any holes in the ship are patched up. Any fires are extinguished, and uh, the uh, ship's uh, bilge is emptied as well. So it's fine. So there's no time to collect anything. Uh, the second ship is bearing down on us. And okay, so I guess that's something we're going to have to do. Leave the combat there and. First ship dealt with the battle hinges on who will win this final conflict between your own vessel and the flagship of the uh, Norsted fleet. So there's no time to flee. Uh, I will. St no, well, there is time to flee, but I'm going to attack because, well, we might do okay. So back to position ones. You can see we are on the chain shop, but I am going to tell them to go down to the cannon. I think it's important that we just get more cannon at this stage and just try and take them out. Although, I don't know, maybe stick with it. No, 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 we'll stick with uh, firing and we're just going to fire at their cannons. You can see they are firing back at us. We've got, it uh, looks to be a couple of holes in the ship there. I could go ahead and start to repair that, but uh, actually, yeah, I think I will. I'm also going to fire my uh, 
ship smash a mortar there. That's going over. Good damage is going out. You see they've already lost a good third of their health. I do have one bit to put out there. We are taking some shots back. By the way, you can uh, right click and that uh, puts it on auto fire. So it'll fire when it can, which I find is uh, a lot easier than having to uh, manually do it. There we are. Back onto this one and keep maneuvering, although we actually are repairing the uh, helm there. And we'll fire that at the captain because why not? <laughs> I did do a build, as I said previously, where I had the ship smashing, which was knocking people over like that, as well as looks like we're going to have to brace here, perhaps. Yeah, brace, brace, brace. And um, I had the sniper rifle type thing where we were e easily able to take out uh, multiple crew members and often it would be a case if we just decrew the ship rather than uh, decrew the ship rather than destroy the ship which I thought was quite interesting. Uh, we're going to get a little bit closer because well we can and there we go there's some good shots out they are pretty much dead this ship smasher should destroy the rest of it we have got a, a bit of a breach there and I oh, know it didn't actually uh, do all the damage required there I mean I could ram it ram it is a possibility but quite frankly I think it's a fairly uh, fairly bad choice there we go ships destroyed not too bad of a problem we actually have two holes in the ship and you can see we're halfway from flooding if that goes to full or the health uh, of your ship goes to zero then that's it it's game over basically and um, there we are so uh, you return the harbour with a hero's welcome crowd hailing your uh, fortuitous arrival so we'll leave combat and we have saved that we've gained uh, 72 gold and 66 fish and we're going to go visit the docks and repair all we're then going to go back to the apothecary and we will revive our crew member ah we can't we've got uh, just and just just a smidge off what we need so if we go over here we'll be able to fight this uh this pirate vessel and that should be good enough for us so let's get a bit closer here uh do i want to board them no because they have uh, someone that's pretty good at that so we'll stay at, actually we'll stay at this third range and um, everything does have a range by the way and when you mouse over it it tells you on the left hand side just what the range is so you can see the range for some of these is uh, quite good well, for, for all these ones, it's uh, range all four brackets. I don't know if it gets bonuses closer up. I don't think so. Whereas this one, you can see the grape shot cannon, which is good for taking out crew. That is uh, only viable in the first two brackets. Uh, whereas this one, we can fire and there we are. So we're basically a long range vessel at this stage. We've got uh, one, two, three, four weapons out of the five that can fire at uh, long range. So that's fine. And Oh, that looks a bit naughty. That's weirdly that's a shot that was quite weird what is that? actually we don't even know what they are i'm gonna get closer um this is the issue that i have actually at this range is that i can't actually see the status of their uh of their ship and their health and what they've got that's because i've only got a very basic cruise uh crow's nest on this thing uh, you can upgrade the crow's nest it's like upgrading the sensors uh for lack of a better term and it allows you to see more. But quite frankly, we don't need to see much more than the health at this stage because we're just going for a straight up fight and destroy rather than anything else. So looks like one of the uh, people was actually swept overboard. Um, we are trying to get closer, but with the sails gone and also the uh, the helm broken as well, we're not doing much. I'm just going to go back over to, to this because we are just going to go for a destruction here. And wow, they are doing a lot of damage, a lot more damage than I would have expected. But this should be the final shot. And no, it's not, but this will be the final shot. And there we go. That is a destruction. And we've taken a lot of damage. We've taken uh, pretty much destroyed. Uh, we've got the rear batteries destroyed on both sides on the port and starboard. And also the helm is broken as well. But their ship is currently sinking. So I think we came out on top there. We'll leave that combat and we'll go over to here. Which should be a way to repair the ship. It is. We're going to go over to this location. Because we've got the money there. Go to the apothecary. And we'll go to apothecary and revive them finally. Exit the port. And... I guess repair all I can. So, what are the other options? Well, there are. That's there's that sea fort, and mm, there's no way I can fight a sea fort. But this here, this is actually a pirate vessel. Um, so, what's happening is they're they're blockading this trade route, and we probably want to fight them. So, I will go for. Hmm. 
attack now and be done with it. I'm just going to attack them. You can take your own cut. You can, like, say, be a pirate yourself. No, we're going to go for a, a nicer build than that. And finally, we have everybody on uh, on the one side of the ship now. So we should be able to do some decent damage because we now got all of the cannons and the uh, and the chain shot as well. You notice that the difference in reload speed, though, that the cannon here is much better. And, ah, I don't know if you saw that, but we've just taken a considerable amount of damage to our um, this this person here. The reason for that is they have a sniper rifle up the top there, or they have it somewhere around the place, and they've taken uh, a good shot at this guy, and that's why he's pretty much on half health. So I'll, t I'll take them to the front, get them to heal up, and we'll see. It. Oh, there you go. The captain's been hit as well. So they're fully healed up. We will go back and heal there. Still want to keep these cannons firing. Our objective is to, after all, destroy this thing. We are slowly getting closer. Um, I don't know if boarding would be a decent choice or not. I don't think it would be. But uh, let's get back up to there. Keep these shots going. They actually have uh, two doctors by the look of it. Brace for impact once again with the waves coming in. There we are. It's all sweeping across the bow. And there we are. Still trying to get closer. We are doing some damage. Looks like someone was swept off the back there. And I don't know if they're going to be able to revive them. I can't see the health on them because we're not close enough. As soon as we get into this level, we should be able to see them. But if they were going to rescue them, they would have done it by now. And yet, yeah, looks like they have actually... Uh, been swept overboard and that's them yeah as soon as we get within range you can see we can see their health there i would like to maybe perhaps board but uh ah, go on then let's board so we're gonna do a a brace for impact here we go and bang crash on the side of the ship and now everybody get on board let's get over there so we jump on board and we start assaulting them we've got cutlasses and we have a lot of scurvy too probably uh that's that person taken out we'll tell them to go over there and that should be a reasonable uh take over there you see we are we are wounded a little bit, but we have managed to take out all of the uh, crew. And there we go. So piracy, it's a crime. Stealing is against the law. So we've got some uh, food. We've got some uh, some gold. And our wanted level has been decreased. So now what happens is we can go over to here. And I should have done this previously. But, I mean, that's probably mistake number 527. And uh, the you see that says 5% increase. I believe it was 15% last time. So it's uh, better for us to uh, have done that. If we did that earlier, we would have got it uh, quite cheaper um overall then we'd need to take out uh that person and then finally the fort but that will take quite some time and i think we will leave it there because i just want to show you a little bit of the game and uh, sort of uh, what's this this is a floating outpost that's pretty good um sadly i can't really do anything there but yeah that's been a bit of abandoned ship as i said i jumped back on it as a sort of curiosity i wonder if uh, i can yes collect money a lot of money in fact so i can probably repair all of my uh of my boat now. Yes, I can. Yeah, I picked, I, I, like I've said, I played it when it was in early access and quite enjoyed it, and um, it seems to be a lot more added. There's different scenarios and obviously a full campaign and loads of biomes and just more stuff. Either way, if you like what you see, then by all means, check the link out in the description. I <laughs> hope it's for you. If not, then uh, well, no harm, no foul, I guess. If you want to see more, then by all means, let me know in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.